Hello and welcome to the channel. Today what we're going to talk about is replacing text in Power Automate Desktop. Let's go. Now before we go ahead and dive too far into the content, I just wanted to make a short announcement. Uh, the channel just recently surpassed 1400 subscribers, so thank you all for supporting the channel. And if you're not subscribed, go ahead and do me a favor, click on that subscribe button in the window. Okay, back to the main content here. So. This actually came up twice this week, uh, working with customers, so I figured it was probably something worth sharing with others because there's obviously some room for uh, improvement from an awareness perspective. What the core use case is, is we want to be able to replace text inside of Power Automate. So you've got a string, you want to remove a character and replace it. Now, in this case, we want to replace it with nothing. So not null, not a space, nothing. Just go ahead and remove it. And it isn't obvious how you can go ahead and do this inside of Power Automate Desktop. However, using the following expression, percent sign, single quote, single quote, percent sign, we can go ahead and accomplish this. And as I do call out here, uh, we have, these are single quotes. These are not a single double quote, it is two single quotes. And that will go ahead and replace that specific character. Now, what's sort of the use case? So actually this did come up in one of them was uh, RPA in a day. Uh, we do want to be able to feed in a value to a calculator on the web. Uh, the problem is the web calculator doesn't want this dollar sign to be part of it. It only wants the numeric itself because they've put some client side scripting on their input box that says, hey, I'm only gonna accept numbers, I can't convert other text symbols, including a dollar sign itself. And so that's what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and show this off in a demo where we can go ahead and remove this value and just pass in the numeric value itself. Okay, so I'm in Power Automate Desktop. I've got a very simple desktop flow here. The first thing I need to do is I need to go ahead and create an input variable. Now in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to declare it, we're going to call it amount, we're going to provide a default value that includes the dollar sign, and then we're going to provide it an external name itself. So that's going to be sort of a prerequisite for this. Then we're going to use the replace text action. So naturally we can find this over here on the left nav here, replace text, we'll go ahead, drag it and put it onto our design surface. Then the text that we want to parse, so the input, uh, we're going to go ahead and now use that amount variable that we declared. So I can click on this, uh, this brackets and then select amount. That's where that value is going to come from. Now the text to find, we want to find that specific dollar sign and then we want to replace it. We want to replace it with percent sign, single quote. See, just to show you that, single quote and then another percent sign. And then we'll go ahead, we'll save that. And then just to go ahead to prove that this works, I'm just gonna go ahead and use a display message action just from the left nav, I can search for that as well. And what is gonna happen, I should have showed you this, is there will be a variable that is produced, an output variable called replaced. Now we could just go ahead and update this, we could just call this amount, but for now I'm just using this variable that was produced. And then what I can go ahead and do is I can use that as part of my message to display. Once again, it's just select the variable that I do want and it'll be displayed inside of this message box. This is just free text. Um, I can call this whatever. This is just going to be the title of the message box. So let's go ahead. Let's run. As I've said before, we've got $500 with the dollar sign. We should expect to see just 500 the number being returned. And sure enough, we do. So that's it. So once again, thanks for checking out this video. It is short, but the fact it kept coming up so frequently, and it wasn't just this past week, I've heard this before as well, uh, just was a sign that I should go ahead and create a short video on, this, on the content. If you're not following me on Twitter, you can go ahead and find me at Weirzy. You're on YouTube, go ahead, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, add any comments you might have as well. Thanks, and we'll talk to you again soon on the channel. Take care, bye.